Hey everyone, this is Kraymon and welcome back to another Summoner Source Siege video. Hope everybody is having a great week. First of all, I would just like to address that the Siege Battle Tournament will be starting on the 23rd of November. And it will be lasting for 2 weeks instead of 1, which is a very nice change by Comptuous. This gives us more time to prepare. And if you guys want to follow throughout my journey in the tournament battle itself, please make sure to consider subscribing. Today we are up against SDF and Boss. I think this is the first time we are meeting SDF here. So most likely they made it to the top 15 at least. And let's just see the rankings real quick here. Mm, I remember Boss ended up at rank 5 last season before the tally so now they are rank 10. There's a few strong upcoming guilds especially Wick Wick. <laughs> Two of our ex members are there now. SDF is at rank 15, as expected in the top 15 region, but pretty close to the borderline. Let's just hit and see what's the defenses that both guilds are running here on their outer towers. So on SDF side is the Kumon Vigo and Iris. Hmm, a lot of guilds are opting for this defense now. This tower 11, Kumon Vigo and Odin. Okay, all five of them. And for the tower 10, the middle one... Kumon, Orion, Savannah. Hmm, very interesting. So this is the second guild that I came across running these two defenses. Yeah, I remember in the previous siege, some guilds were running that as well. And on boss's side is the Kumon, Vigo, Iris. Nothing unusual. Tower 9, Bust That Perna Odin's. Very standard Asia meta defenses right here. On the Tower 10, the double Nepotist Savannah Clara. I'm pretty sure the other guy has it. <laughs> and 3 Galen Clara Savannas. Mm -hmm. We'll be starting off the first sword of the day against this Kumon, Vigor, and Iris. I'll be bringing in my Sabrina, Talia, and Harmonia. I'd say the win rate for this comm is about 85% to 90%. It all depends on the iris basically on their side whether she gets the double or triple stuns and you might be in trouble. But this isn't the case. We'll just finish off this Kumon right here. Didn't land the armor break but it's okay. Our Talia moves now and this should finish off the Kumon. We'll save up the third skill. We do not want to use it just yet. And yeah, I'll be taking my fights really seriously from now on because I have to train my offense. For the past couple of weeks, it wasn't really too good for my liking because it's like always 7, seven wins. <laughs> and yeah, I think I am actually quite prepared for this tournament. And after this, there'll be two more sieges to train. Yeah, there's almost 90, 90 something K damage. <laughs> First win of the day. For our next fight here, we'll be up against another Kumon, Vigor and Iris defense. This time, I'll be bringing in my Kumon, Lauren and Beta. Of course, if you do not have Beta, you could replace her with a Triana and it will work just as fine. First off, you have to kill off that Kumon and you should be good to go. So let's just armor break him right here. Uh, this has to crit. No crit, 8000 damage only. <laughs> but it's okay. We'll push the attack bar down again. Nice. Prop. No prop. <laughs> uh, okay, we have to eat that 3 turn armor break. But yeah, this common will be going down here. 35,000. And from here on out, we'll just work on the Iris and leaving Vigor last. It should be really safe from now. Also, when you're up against both guilds running the same kind of defenses, Especially on the net force because net four counters is actually really limited in the sense that if you're up if you're going up against this common vigor iris over and over again. Um, for me personally I have two sets of twins and two sets of the common Lauren and Beta. So ideally I can take on at least four sets of it. But um, I, what I have to do is shift the runes over from the twins and especially my Lawrence because I do not have any other sets for them. And it's also efficient 
in the sense that I do not have to farm another set of runes for them. <laughs> and yeah, when you're up to end game stage, when you're trying to improve in your siege, what you have to do is make duplicates of everything basically. And yeah, it's actually really tiring, but yeah, to be good in offense, this is what you have to actually do. <laughs> because new monsters don't come by easily. And yeah, this will be another win here. We have to take back these two towers here from boss's side and it's against this Galen, Clara and Savannah. I'll be going in with my Jean, Diana and Leo. Can we still enter it? Okay, that's very nice. <laughs> because I have to pick the monsters, I didn't preset it. And this comp is actually pretty safe. I'd say so far we only lost to Frank on Candy House's side. But of course his rune quality is really high. I believe he ended up top 10 before on G3 RTA. <laughs> so yeah. Uh huh. 14,000 crit on my Leo. <sighs> Our Leo is already dead here, so hopefully we can get a stun on the Savannah. Okay, that's very nice. We have to kill off this Galen here. This has to kill him off. If not, I might be in trouble. Okay, when we shift back to the pony, this Galen is dead. And I think we do have a fighting chance right here. Okay, that's very nice. Stun? Shit, we didn't get it. No prop, please. Good. We'll shift back to the human form. Inevitable wound. We dismounted that savannah already. Uh, it's a very good sign. Double stun. Oh no. Jin. Okay, Jin is still alive. Crit. Okay, this should just do it. 2v1, we should be good. Got a little bit scary when my Leo died just like that. <laughs> because he was the one to actually control the speed on the Savannah and Galeon. We do not want them to move so many turns. And yeah, that's the beauty of having Leo in your team. Honestly, I wish I had 10 Leos. <laughs> uh, but I couldn't even get another one. But yeah, unfortunate. But we still put this through. This tower 9 just opened here and let's just hit right into Gabino's defense. It's the busted Perna and Odin. I'll be cleaving him with my Galen, Tiana and Zyros. As long as I land my debuffs, the armor break especially, we should be good. So yeah, wind of changes there. Oh, Purna, resistance, but we got additional prop. <laughs> uh, fiery breath, this should kill it. That's very nice. So, 1v3 against the Bustad. We shouldn't lose. At most, my Zyros dies, but Galen and Tiana should be able to kill off that unit there. And... Yeah, just use the second skill here. Uh, time to loot. Can we land the armor break? That's very nice. But doesn't matter, the additional prop. I'm feeling really good in this siege. We have to take it really seriously from now on as well. Because going into the tournament, you want to boost your confidence level. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll just cleanse away the debuffs from the Buster and this should do it. This will be another win right here. 4 out of 4 guys. We are finally able to hit this Common Vigor and Odin defense. I'll be bringing in my Fingyan, Veladro and Rina. So Rina's drop here is just to tank up the damage from Odin's side. Hopefully our Veladro can sustain against that Vigor though. Oh I'm not liking it. One shred and we are almost down to 3 quarters of HP on our Veladro. We'll put the Sanctuary up. And... First of all, we should be working on the Kumun. Because I can't really deal with his shield. Okay, there's a nice counter into the armor break. Additional prop. Another one, okay. Can our Veladro crit? That's very important. Nope. <laughs> uh, 
Last hit. This Vigo has to heal up. Oh no. Yeah, we'll heal ourselves and continue working on the Komun. Mm, yeah, we'll just cleanse that. Put the healing buff and the counter. Our. Holy shit, there's so much damage. Oh no. Oh, Veladio is dead. Right? Chose to heal as well, not to finish up my Veladio. Ah, can we kill off this Kumun? I'm not sure, man. Okay. Uh, we have to put the healing buff again into the speed buff and heals from Vigor. Oh my god, this is so annoying. We didn't land the armor break as well on the counter. <sighs> Feng Yan, come on. That's nice. It's almost back to full HP. Additional prop. Oh no. Okay, I'm a break. <laughs> this is gonna be a very close one. If my thing end dies, we we will definitely lose this. Okay. We have a fighting chance right here. Because Vigo will be always both of the units there will be always hitting my arena now. So yeah, we'll be putting the healing buff here. Slowly heal up our Feng Yan. That's a very nice armor break. So my Feng Yan is back to almost full HP. Come on man, we didn't resist the armor break. Yeah, continue destroying his HP there. I'm not too sure whether my Rina can sustain against the Odin's damage now. Yeah, he's breaking the shield. Oh. Okay. Can we resist? <sighs> Lance the armor break again? Oh no. We have to kill off this Vigor as soon as possible. We'll heal up. Armor break! Violent prop! <laughs> Shit man, the Vigor is gonna heal up again. So damn annoying. Okay, okay. We have this, we have this in the back, guys. Come on, crit! <sighs> Not enough? Come on, Rina. How many turns is this Vigor going? Shit. Rina, please survive until this Vigo dies. Okay, now we are safe. Even though he has 3 stacks up, we will never buff up for him to steal our buffs. We do not want that to happen, so we'll just try to kill him off slowly. I think we should be able to tank up his damage here. And once he procs the passive here, we are able to use our second skill. Yep. That's a nice prop. And this should do it. <sighs> Five rings in a row, guys. Ooh, it was a butt clenching fight in the previous battle. And let's hit right into this Kumun, Orion, and Savannah. It's another unorthodox defense in Asia server. Um, I don't really like this kind of variant. Because, now that I think of it, you can actually uh, do a shield wheel kind of comp and it should be working just as fine. But yeah, we got double stun as well. <laughs> so we'll just cleanse away the armor break here and work on whoever is armor broken. Uh, yeah, we'll change to the human form to cleanse our Feng Yan. That's very nice. I guess we have to work on the Orion. <laughs> uh, 
Alright, already died there. And this should be very simple from here. I don't think they have the damage to deal with our comp. Yep, we'll just try to armor break this savannah. Into the additional prop. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sav. And 3v1 against this Kumun. Definitely a win here. Ah, we are playing very good today. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. <laughs> okay, can we kill off this Kumun right here? That's a nice stun. We have to land our armor break. Yeah, actually I'm just gonna press the auto button there. And another win. 6 out of 6. Now we'll be layering all the towers on SDS's side so that we will be staying on the bonus for a very long time. And we'll be heading right into this Singza, Ophelia and Vigor defense with our Rika, Beta and Gany. Um, if you do not have Beta, you could replace her with a friend, Louise or Rusa. It would work just as fine. It was gonna take a really long time because of all the heals coming up from their side, including the shields and the cleanse from Ophelia. It's gonna be very annoying. But at the end of the day, it's gonna be very safe as well. The Ophelia finally went down. It took at least 5 minutes already. And from here on out, definitely a win. The Singer is almost dead. Yeah, doesn't matter if he heals up. We do have our Ventilate, I guess. Yeah, but I think we'll just seal magic that Vigor. We do not want him to armor break my Rika into some violent props. And play with the immunity up. Lay out our damage again. Fire Garden Angel into the Ventilate and another one. And that should do it. Oh. A really long fight this one. Uh, doesn't even need to ventilate so... We are now 7 out of 7. Feeling pretty good. Ah, we have to fight this Luis Thomas and Miho. I'm just gonna bring in the same Skogel Copper Immacity, but this time I've upgraded the Copper Runes. I believe now it's at plus 2100-ish defense. So hopefully this can kill it off. Okay, 59,000. Huh. I think we should be very safe from here. Definitely the Lewis has the damage reduction on win as well. Because I think with these stats, you should be able to deal about close to 70,000 actually. But yeah, we'll just take that damage. And... Can we stun? My Skogu doesn't have any crit rate. And we still crit! Oh, please don't stun me. Okay, nice. Oh, that's very close at the end there. We are now left with two more swords and I want to try out my theory earlier when I mentioned that when you're up against Kumun, Ara and Savannah, you could run a shield will comp. So I'm testing this one out with our Poseidon, Galen, and Sierra. Honestly, for the third slot, Sierra, you could replace her with anything. But yeah, we want the bomb damage here. So we'll put it on the Savannah. Yeah, because when we time to loot and our Poseidon's nuke comes in, most likely this Orion and the Kumun should die from it. So let's just see here. We didn't get the armor break on the Savannah, that's not good. Okay, can this kill? 28,000. Oh! But it's okay, we kill off the Orion first, and our Galen should be able to finish up that Kumun. Uh, 1v3, we land the bomb. Yeah, definitely a win though. Because this mount... The, the bomb will definitely kill off that savannah right there. We are down to our final sword and let's just head right into this Galen Clara savannah. I'll be giving another chance to Tessarion and Xiongfei. I really want to make them work. But it's so hard. Wheel of Fire's triple stuns with resistance leader. <laughs> Lens the armor break as well. Okay. Yeah, we can cleanse here, but... Additional prop by that Galen. Tessarion. Oh, I really need to derune him. 
Ah, uh, so sad. We lost this one. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the risk and try to wall blow this Galen. <laughs> Hopefully we can kill. Oh no, last hit. Yeah. Our Xiong Pei is also dead here. So we ended up 9 out of 10 wins. Again? The Saryan let us down. The resistance leader doesn't matter. <laughs> The siege battle has finally ended here and we got 328 crystals followed by 343 guild points. We'll just collect those from the treasure box here. And let's head right over to the siege page to check out the map layout at the end of that fight. So boss securing the second place followed by SDF at third. I believe after this there'll be only two more sieges left to go. And all the best to the guilds trying to compete for the top 20 slots. It's gonna be a very interesting one. Uh, yeah, we'll just open the siege box here. The rubbish box as I usually call it. And we'll be picking the one next to corner. The middle bottom. Let's see what we get here. Three mythical scrolls, that's about it. Ah, we'll take those. Sell that rune right there. Okay. Oh, my guildmate got this legendary scroll. Not bad. And yeah, like I said, the siege battle will be very interesting with Wick Wick securing the top 4 placement. And I believe Candy House lost against Avenger X this siege itself. Mm, which puts them at 5th place, which is very unlikely of them. So I hope they pull themselves together. We'll be calling it a day. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video as well, and make sure if you got any questions, just leave it down in the comments below because I always try to take the initiative to reply to my viewers. And yeah, hope everybody have a great weekend and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Please stay safe. Peace.